Welcome back everyone to episode 6 of our Black Myth Wukong Let's Play series here on the PlayStation 5. This is your host, Free Nachos, once again. And last episode we've been doing some exploring. Uh, we took down a frog boss. We got us a power from that guy so we can do like a, a tongue lashy kind of attack. Uh, which is kind of neat. And we did find another boss. Um, I think he's kind of a main one. He's got poison. He can summon snakes. He's kind of annoying. Um, he's killed us maybe five times now. But we did meet an NPC who gave us a special gourd where we can absorb spirits of bosses. So that is one of the things that I've been uh, wondering about. So if you go in here to our incense, we can go to retrieve spirits. It can actually go into the wandering white, which is one of the things I was worried about. Um, not being able to... Not being able to gather that spirit of that boss that I had killed. So now if we go into our stuff here, and we go to our spirits, we can actually choose. When key is full, press R2 and L2 to launch spirit skills. Transforming into a powerful Yagwai to unleash their signature abilities costs key, which can be recovered by absorbing it from enemies during combat. Spirits of the Yagwais can be cultivated at Keeper Shrines to enhance their spirit skill. So, very cool. So now we have two skills. So he has the Tongue Whip. Um, moderately just the stamina cost for jumps and jumping attacks. This guy has Faithful Kowtow. Take the form of Wandering White Bow with utmost devotion and ram the foe with your Bronze Skull, dealing massive damage. Moderately considerably increases defense. I think we're going to go ahead and use that guy. I think that sounds really cool. Um, tadpole. It's a rare material. Um, and we do have some consumables. Um, removes burn state. Increases damage reduction. We only have one of those. I wonder if we could buy some from the store. Let's go ahead and see. Another out. Ah, I can buy this, though. Removes poison state and increases poison resistance. Yeah, we need that. We definitely need that, for sure. And I guess that's on our left. I tried to turn off the, um, the motion controls on the PlayStation. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have had an effect. It, it's the, R, the R2 is still extremely sensitive. Um, so that's just kind of an extra hurdle that we're going to have to get around. But... Let's go ahead and use... So our poison is on the left of our consumables. And I'm also very excited to use our boss ability. So welcome in, welcome. Hope you're enjoying our Black Myth Wukong Let's Play series. I know we're going to defeat this guy. It's just... Uh, and now that we, now that we have... This consumable, I think it's going to be really helpful. Because now we can eliminate that poison status from our bodies. Thank <laughs> you. 
Boom! Let's go! My master. Just possession obsessed. Like you are just like him. When move. Okay, we're gonna have to interrupt that dialogue there. Um Let's see. With a monk's facade, but a serpent's heart. He wields deceit, playing many parts. He does desires shift, insatiably pursued, faithless to his master, all teachings he eschewed. Uh, Guan Mao, the great tech tactician, was not like his senior fellow pupil, Guanzi. From a young age, his heart yearned to be a legendary Yaoguai master remembered for ages. But fate had other plans. When old Ling Zuzi sent his beloved disciple to Yaogan Temple to be a monk, old White Snake Y grew worried. The snake feared it was Ling Suzi's plot to win favor with the Black Bear Guai and commanded Guang Mao to join the monkhood as well. Before he left, the snake warned him, never fall behind, least of all behind Guang Zi. But no matter how hard Guang Mao tried, Elder Jinchi never seemed to favor him as much as Guang Zi, even when he learned faster and trained harder. Guang Mao consoled himself, believing this stemmed not from his own failings, but from the snake's ham-fisting meddling, ham-fisted meddling, which had turned the elder against him. He found solace in the notion of returning to the mountains one day when he could embrace his Yaogui nature, unshackled by such trivial concerns. Guang Mao still recalled Jinchi's teachings. You can be too extreme, too uncompromising, always leave some room and some things unfinished. But the day Jinchi saw the Kasaya of Eversparks, he desired... It's so intensely that he forgot his own words and wept along into the night. Wang Mao saw the thought taking root in the old monk's heart to kill for this prize. Everyone shied away from the idea, but Guang Zi boldly spoke the truth. Guang Mao seed with inexplicable rage, and his mind a scheme within a scheme began to take shape. His elder Jinchi drank tea with the two monks. Guang Mao glimpsed of an untamed malice in the monkey's eyes, a hunger for vengeance. Building on Guang Zi's gambit, Guang Mao goaded and prodded, weaving a merciless plot that left no room for escape. The old monk was delighted, and for the first time he acknowledged Guang Mao's wit. With his plan set, Guang Mao knew that doom would strike that night. Summoning a gust of wind, he hid in the bamboo grove behind the mountain. As anticipated, a great fire broke out that night, but it failed to kill the two journeying monks as intended. Instead, it burned the entire temple to the ground. Alas, the world harbors such petty toils capable of ensnaring the lofty and vanquishing them with cunning plots. Perhaps this is what is meant by slaying with a borrowed blade. Guanju, I remember now the evil monks abetted Elder Jincha to burn the great sage and Tang monk alive. That's these two. I thought they were already turned into ashes by that fire. Who would have thought they had turned into Yao Guais? Hmm. Okay, let's absorb the soul on our brand new gourd. Okay. So I'm guessing we'll get kind of like a uh, a poison attack with that one. Which way do we go? Aha! Cultivate spirits. So that's like you can upgrade them, right? Okay. It just takes will to upgrade them. Take the form of Guang Mao, call forth snakes to fit venom upon foes and inflict poison damage. The snakes will slow their way once their venom is depleted. Okay, cool. I never actually um, got to use this key skill. I'm curious as to what it does. Um, so I'm not going to change off of it just yet. I have sparks. 
Acquire new stances. I have the pillar stance. For me, heavy attack during a light attack combo with focus point consumed allows the destined one. Health recovery upon consuming a, a focus point. We'll hold off on that. We'll just keep um, going into this stuff. Each talent level slightly reduces the duration of four Bane's effects. I'm guessing that's like poison, fire, shit like that. Increases critical hit chance. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and rest then. We didn't even have to use any of our poison potion that we had bought from the store either, so we still have full of that. Let's see what's up here. Something important. Ring the bell. I have an ominous feeling. After the bell rang, it seems as though the resentment in the depths of the mountain has grown. Ah, oh, forget it. Overthinking won't help. Your presence has already made a mess in the mountain. Why not go ahead? Take them out, once and for all. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's keep exploring. I love how there's just like so many different paths and a fragrant vine. What does that do? Gourd upgrades. Well, let's take a look. Maybe we can't do it here, or maybe we have to go into the menu to do it. Hmm. Okay, okay. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
These snake guys are nothing to fear. Snake gall steeped in drink, though, makes a fine tonic to flush malady. Here, here, young friend. Be my guest inside. Ah, are we gonna be able to? Are we gonna be able to craft some of these potions now? That would be wonderful. Or is this how we upgrade our flask and shit? Well, well. I'd stake your one more monkey from Mount Wagwo. Uh, I've met many of you. My rank of birth, you all ought to call me forefather. <laughs> but I'm... Braid Gourd. Hell yeah. There we go. Braid Drinks. No. Oh, we can brew. Add soaks. Is that like a multi effect? I'm not doing that until I know what it is. If something catches your fancy. Okay, it's a consumable. Okay, let's leave. Next time, down a few mouthfuls in one go. It's delightful. Okay, so we can go that way. Dimmed your shine. Past's grip beyond our grasp. The future we may still clasp. Man, these, these mini bosses and bosses are coming Wait, hot and heavy. This is the hour, young one, in which you choose to stay in my tranquil abode. Serpent. Pray tell. To what end do you seek? But I like that ability, though. Jesus, I can't... I can't dodge. I have no stamina. I think I have to do a better job of stamina management because if I just unleash all my all my attacks, I I um I don't have enough stamina to dodge afterwards. A rip on the lake. Thank you. 
I just gotta be patient with him. I just gotta be patient with him. There we go. Just had to be patient, conservative, take what take what the opening gave me, not be too greedy. You have forced my hand. Now you shall face what I truly am. Okay, two phaser. Damn it. Okay, we got a two phaser here. Okay, so he's a two-phaser. Okay. It's a two-phase fight. His phase two is not... It's not crazy, so... Should be able to kill this guy. A ripple of lake. Oh yeah, this guy's this guy's pretty good. This guy's 
better than I gave him credit for the first time. Okay. Second phase. You have forced my hand. No. No healing left, I don't think, for this phase. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, we're going to cut the episode there. This guy's going to be a nice little challenge for us. Um, I do kind of want to go back to the first area that we are in and take out that fire uh, mini boss off to the side. Now that we're a little bit more powerful and we have a little bit more abilities. Um, so maybe next episode we'll make a little, a little um, detour that way. But in any case, we're going to pick up not too far off from where we're at now. So anyway, guys, my name is Free Nachos. Thanks, as always, for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.